Welcome back to the channel. Yep, welcome back to the channel. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new and special, welcome to you. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead, hit the subscription button below and join us on the journey. Now today, I'm going to show you how I got my hair into this beautiful, low, sleek ponytail. I've been wearing it for a week now. I mean, as type 4 girls and, and persons with thick hair especially, sometimes we feel like, okay, there are some styles that we cannot achieve. But I'm telling you, it is very possible um, to achieve a sleek style even if your hair is really, really thick. And I did this using this as the main ingredient yep my trusty olive oil eco styler gel so if you are interested in getting your hair into a low sleek ponytail then keep watching because it's not only product it's also the process girl you gotta trust the process all right guys so in addition to the eco styler gel you're gonna need combs to help you sleep the hair so a wide tooth comb and also a small tooth comb in addition to that you're gonna need a brush um, not too coarse to break your hair but you um, still can't have it too soft especially if your hair is very thick you're gonna need a spray bottle with some water um, your sealant oil I'm using my Jamaican black castor oil of course and of course you will need some edge control and I am using my favorite which is my pomade you will also need two very stretchy scrunchies to use for the process and these are the ones I'll be using now in terms of your hair your hair needs to be fully detangled and preferably in sections because we will be working in sections my hair is currently in sections because it was washed um, the night before um, if you've never watched my wash day video before you can go ahead and have a look at it I'm currently having another flare-up of eczema that's really affecting my hairline so I have to be very careful but we are going on so the first thing you want to do is to take the sections at the back so I, I'm starting with the two um, twists at the back and you are going to undo the sections ensure that you spritz it very well with water um, you want the hair to be fully detangled manageable um, and so that it can be super sleek if there are bumps knots if there's a lot of air in your hair it's not going to work so first thing is to get them out of the twists and then you go ahead and add some water to moisturize it and once you've done that then you add your oil to seal in the moisture so this is me adding now the Jamaican black castor oil once I have added the oil, it's time to apply the gel. Now, in terms of the gel application, you cannot be light-handed with the gel. You basically want your hair very, very saturated. So just as though I would have saturated my hair with gel when I'm about to do um, my wash and go, it's basically going to be the same thing. So you're applying the gel until it's super sleek and you are applying it from root to the ends so you want all of it to be saturated with the gel and this will help it to lay very well i will not be using brush or combs in this section of my hair because as i said it's fully detangled and it's the least kinky section of my hair so once i have that smooth and sleek i'm gonna go ahead and put the scrunchie around the hair a few times In terms of the ends, I'm just going to be putting the ends in twists because that's how I'll be wearing it and also just because I don't want it to get all tangled and shrunken and so on. So if it is that you actually plan to um, wrap the ends of the hair with um, braiding hair afterwards or you plan to do anything else to the ponytail, you might want to do this as well so that the ends don't get tangled. So you just put that section into a ponytail and then you get another section and basically repeat the steps. So detangle the section, add some water of course to add moisture to your hair, then apply your sealant oil to seal in the moisture and then you apply the gel and smooth the gel on the hair. All 
All right, so once you smooth that, you're gonna remove the scrunchie that you would have put um, around the first section, add this next section into the ponytail, and then put the scrunchie around the section again, and just twist the end of that section that you just added just now. All right, so now that I'm finished with the back, I'm at the front. Now the side of my hair is the coarsest part of my hair, even though it is less dense. So less dense meaning there is less hair. In the middle of my hair, there's actually more hair. So at the sides, I add the gel, and as you can see, I'm smoothing it and sleeking it to go towards the back of my head. Ensure that the gel is fully, fully, fully saturating the hair from root to end, and that's how you get it sleek. I'm using the brush hair as well as my hand to just smooth the hair towards the ponytail at the back. Once I have that, I'm going to remove the scrunchie from the section that is already done, and then uh, add now this section to it and of course twist the hair at the ends that is coming from this section that I just added it's very important yeah it seems repetitive because it is you have to be removing the scrunchie and putting it back but that is the best way to get the hair really sleek really nice um, and getting the hair really really laid even though it's thick now we've reached the front um, just detangle the sections of course and if it is that you didn't make your part you can go ahead and do that I kind of made the part from before but I am going to clean it up so the line is a little bit more uh, straight um, it's best if you use your edge control to do that I didn't use it this time around but you can just put your edge control on the root and then um, just clean up the line a little bit so that it's crisp and clean and looks straight. Just so you know, you can achieve this style even if your hair is shorter than mine because I was able to do this even before my hair reached this length. It's just that when it is that I would have finished the ponytail, there was only a little piece of hair. So I actually wrapped um, some kinky hair on the ends. So if your hair is short, this method is perfect because even if all the hair does not get into the ponytail, it will still be very laid and very sleek and you can always use hairpins and clips to help to keep it laid. So that's me just adding another section and repeating the steps in terms of brushing it towards the ponytail and putting the scrunchie back and of course twisting the end of the section that was just added. All right, so here you see me using the wide tooth comb just to help it lay a little bit more. Um, so you can always use your tools to help you get the sleekest possible style. So I was just using the comb to make sure that there are no tangles or knots in the hair so that it lays very well. I want mine to kind of have a curve, so hence why I'm brushing it downwards first and then curving it just above my ears before taking it to uh, where the ponytail is. So as you can see, it's going really well. It's looking really sleek and shiny. And even though the hair is very, very, very thick, you don't see any air pockets or any bulging areas because of this method in terms of working in sections. So working in sections is really what makes it as sleek as it is in addition to the products that we're using. All right, so now that we're finished that side, um, we're just gonna go ahead and repeat the same steps for the other side. Few moments later. 
listen i am still in awe of the length of my hair i have only been natural for two years and a month now and i have trimmed my hair probably about three times because i i trim the ends because i don't want to keep split ends or tangles and not so i tend to trim my ends so i've done it probably about three times and look at that length i'm super excited um to continue the journey and if you want tips and so on, you can always check my videos out. All right, so now that I've reached the very last section, I'm twisting the ends. I'm just gonna go over with the brush just to ensure that everything is super smooth and super sleek um, on both sides, of course, and the back. And once I'm through with that, I'm gonna go in now with the other scrunchie to reinforce the ponytail because I really want it to be sleek. Make sure that you are not making the ponytail too tight. So if it is that you feel like it's too tight, then take out the other one or don't use the other one. But for me, this is perfectly fine because I was not um, putting too much tension on the first one. So now I'm just twisting the ends. Once it is really sleek, then I'm adding my edge control and laying my edges. How I would like them not doing anything too fussy just making sure that it looks super sleek so I'm laying the edges and once you lay your edges then you can just tie the hair down um, with your silk scarf or your your satin scarf and then you allow that to sit some persons go under the dryer but you know i do not use heat on my hair so that is out of the question for me but the longer you tie it down for of course the more it would set or mold so i normally have it tied down probably about an hour or so but it's ready to go even like this you can wear it but tying it down really helps it to set even better if your hair is shorter then you can put hair pins on the side areas um, or any other area that, that doesn't reach your ponytail you can put hair pins or hair clips there so that it stays sleek before you actually tie down your hair but basically we have managed to get a very sleek ponytail this is how it looks from the back um, as you can see, my hair is uneven because remember, I am um, growing out a tapered cut, so the sides are shorter, the middle and the back are longer. But not only that, the gel is currently weighing down my hair, so as soon as it dries, it will actually shrink back up. So, this is my scarf that I'm going to use to tie down my hair. And that's it, guys. That is how you achieve your sleek ponytail and we can wear this all week just tie it down every night with your satin scarf and if there are any strayaways you just touch it up with your gel or your edge control yup this is your girl trish mac and before i say goodbye remember always that broken wings can relearn how to fly thanks guys see you in my next video